Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Bimadadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem Ya Khabib al Azim Bimadad Ya Sayyidi Ya Sultan al Awliya Man Shaykh Abdullah Faiz al Daghestani Sayyidina wa Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani Man Shaykh Asham Kabani Shaykh Adnan Kabani Shaykh Muhammad Adil Mawda Khaliq al Khushdwani Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad Mahdi Alayhi Salaam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa Alayhi Salaam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina Alayhi Salaam, Thumma Salaam Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam Al Hassan Alayhi Salaam, Imam Al Hussain Alayhi Salaam, Sayyidina Fatima Tazar Alayhi Salaam, Sayyidina Sadatina wa Siddiqina Al Fatiha. Shafat Ya Rasul Al-Kadhi. Ameen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And a reminder always for myself and Abdukul Ajeezu, Da'eefu, Miskeenu, Zalimu, Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. We took a path in which to be nothing. And from this holy month opening in the next few days of Zulhaj and the completion of one year's hijrah in these 10 days of immense blessings and marifa that from Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum is always a reminder that everything is in obedience to Allah Some people want to simplify and say, only Allah for everything but there's an understanding that when we say Ati Allah is obedience to Allah this Holy Qur'an Allah then saying Ati Rasul which means it's Ati Allah. It's the same obedience to Allah but through the ihtiram of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is pointing, it's the same Allah speaking. So it says, it's first obedience is to me. The supreme command always comes from Allah's Divine Presence, then clarifies it like a ladder coming to you, a rope coming to you that obey the Rasul Ati Rasul. And then that same command from Allah wa ulul amri minkum. So means to obey Allah is to obey Prophet and to obey Prophet is to obey the Ulul Amri minkum and all of that is obedience to Allah The madhab of shaitan is to say, no only Allah. So then how would you obey Allah are you at a station in which wahi comes to you, directives and orders come to you? No. So this path of humility Allah is teaching for us, hold tight to the rope and don't tafarruq, don't make into groups and sects. Hold tight onto this rope to reach towards this reality. Then this symbol of hajj and pilgrimage are the symbols and reality of our pilgrimage of faith. Every year we talk at this time on this subject, so we don't want to go too deep. We can go through the articles, you can Google the articles. But what's important in this reality, the reminder only for myself that this Atiullah out of these three important souls and their example of the Hajj. From Sayyidina Ibrahim salam, Sayyidina Hagar salam, and Sayyidina Ismail salam. These three personalities and souls, precious souls on the reality of Hajj and the reality and the essence of Hajj is Arafah and the reality of Arafah is the Qurban, the sacrifice. 
like the bullseye of the bullseye of the bullseye. So all the Ahlul Sunnah ulama is that hajj is Arafah. You miss Arafah you, you've blown your hajj. You, it's essence and secret all those actions before were to take you to this reality of Arafah which was Islam, Iman wal Maqam al Ihsan. That Islam, the body Sayyidina Ibrahim salam, Iman Sayyidina Hagar salam. She represents in this example, this misal and they can flip it in any way that Allah wound them for this understanding. The body of Islam represented in this example is Sayyidina Ibrahim that perfect to listen to Allah Sayyidina Hagar represents the beatific soul that when the soul is, is in obedience it's following the order of the body and when the body and the soul are in obedience this child will be born. Means that from Atiullah is Sayyidina Ismail as salam, Atiya Rasul is Sayyidina Hagar alayhi salam. Wa ulul amri minkum in this example is represented by Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. All of them are in obedience to Allah Sayyidina Ibrahim represents that all his life salam, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice so the body of his taslim, the body of his Islam and his deen was to obey Allah, obeyed in generosity, obeyed in ibadah, obeyed in worshipness, obeyed in sabr. For how many years he went through waiting for a son? That the body of the deen was based on being patient, submitting, submitting, submitting and as a result becoming this ulul amr. And with that beatific submission Sayyidina Hagar his wife represents the reality of his soul. His soul is not in conflict with his body and is not conflicted. This process of, of taslim, if you're doing it right and listening to the guidance, they make your body to be into submission. And your soul has such a trust for your submission, it's a taslim, it's submitting and taslim, it's been beautified. The beatific reality of the soul comes out by its confidence in the body. When you're in conflict in your meditation that, how come I just can't listen to these orders, I can't listen to these commands, I can't listen to these guidance, I can't listen to what these talks are trying to teach me, you have conflict. And your conflict is your soul doesn't trust your body doesn't trust your choices you're making and they're conflicted. So what Allah is saying, oh your hajj, oh your deen, oh your practices, if it didn't come to this pinnacle because Arafat is this little mountain, it's like a hill, it's not a mountain even. If all you did in life didn't come to this point then when Allah want to test you you're not in conflict, I can't do it, I'm not going to 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 do it, you're going to walk away from it. But he kept going, kept, I'm going to sleep on it, I'm going to sleep on it until finally Allah a third time said, get up, this is not your imagination, this order has come, do it. And the three shaitans standing there at the jamara is representing, do you think shaitan is going to let your body to submit? So the whole time he's telling you, I, this is the, Allah doesn't want this from you. Leave it alone, go back to bed. Went back to bed, another warning came. Third time is a charm, that's it. 
you're not going to get more than three warnings from Allah Get up, go. Then the beatific soul when it submits and accepts your body, accepts your deen, accepts your practices, it's not going to keep questioning you. When you question, what, 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 you're showing you don't trust the guidance. You're panicking, what are you panicking about? There's a deficiency in you, not the guidance. That's why then these stations are showing to us that when she completely trusted in his, his deen and his practices, she was in tasneem. So when the devil came said, do you know what he's planning on doing? And she's, A'udhu Billah is the Prophet of Allah and I'm firm in my belief. Means I believe what the body has been commanded and you find me to believe with that. So the body and the soul are now following the command because this was the ulul am, he followed the command of Allah Wa Rasul because she followed the Rasul, she followed Allah And what was the result was this beatific child of reality and he was the only one who really followed Allah That's why he on this station Sayyidina Ismail salam achieved Atiullah because he told his father, you find me to be patient with your killing of me. This is much different to sacrifice yourself than I come and say, I'm going to sacrifice you. I'm maybe a little bit sad but I'm sorry for you, you're going. But it's not that bad but the one comes and says, no I'm sacrificing myself for Allah is the one whom is obeying Allah so when your body is in taslim and you've, you've listened to guidance, listen to the guidance, listen to the coordinates and it's marching, it's like army, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You think redundant, you think whatever you want to think. There are people who email, we give an answer, they email again, but. Then we give an answer and then they email again, but. And then they use capitals which is like shouting, you're not getting it, it's marching. Just follow, follow the guidance, follow the guidance, follow the guidance. Not follow your head, your head going to take you off a cliff. So what Allah just said that, oh this hajj, all your deen, all your religion is this understanding of Arafat, did you understand it yet? That your Sayyidina Ibrahim is your body and the beatific reality why we have Salawat al-Ibrahimiyyah. Why Prophet wanted you to mention Sayyidina Ibrahim Because of the maqam in which he occupies of churubin and the maqam of this reality of taslim. So that when you praise upon Sayyidina Ibrahim his nazar comes to praise upon you Ummat al-Muhammad so Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ala Sayyidina Ibrahim as salam. Immediately you got the nazar of Sayyidina Ibrahim as at this maqam of Arafah that I'll dress you from what Allah dressed upon me, dress that your taslim and that your body submit, dress you from beatific stations. He's in charge of churubin, means the beatific reality of these perfected souls. It's a ni'mah to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad that all the Prophets of Allah they want to give and bestow their gifts to this beloved nation, this most treasured nation of Allah If they are submitting and they're in taslim, the soul is following them. The f- soul is confident with your understanding and you find less and less inner conflict. It's accepting that you are guided and that you're listening and that you're submitting. Your soul is at peace because that shaitan is attacking your body, shaitan is attacking and whispering into your soul and then shaitan coming after the boy. 
But this reality that Allah brings for us is that your reality will be born. And that's why awliyaullah say, oh this rijal he's, he's you know not yet born, this one is still rijal, this one still rijal. Then they go say, this one wali he's one year old, this wali is two years old, this one is five. Means they did not receive their amanat. They can be rijal in training but they did not achieve the station of a birth and rebirth in their reality. Their sainthood is in its infancy because why? Because this is the reality of maqam al-ihsan. It has to be born from your body and your soul submitting. Your body will be tested and your soul will, will be sort of inspecting your taslim. When it accepts your taslim the soul becomes taslim and become beatific fragrance for you. Then that reality will be born and that reality we talked many years as a reminder will begin to guide you. Because his body was scared, he was still scared to, to sacrifice. His maqam al-ihsan came out and told him, Baba don't worry you find me to be patient with what Allah has ordered means that your maqam al-ihsan will guide you. That as the tests become harder and harder and life become more and more stressful, more and more difficult, your maqam al-ihsan is not just a gift that comes out but it becomes your guide that comes out and says that we are under Atiullah and we will bring you forward, don't worry here. Your ulul am and your soul was Atiyatul Rasul but your maqam al-ihsan is from obedience to Allah It's directly in Divinely Presence. When it comes out to guide you it's a guidance directly from Allah Pulling you that don't worry, you're under Allah's command move forward. So much high and so much power in that reality that Allah made the whole nation to make tawaf around Sayyidina Ismail wow. The people who are against going to the qabr. They don't know who's buried at the Kaaba. Who's buried at the Kaaba? Sayyidina Ismail in the, the niche where you go to the Kaaba and there's like a little half circle. This is maqam of Sayyidina Ismail to give him an ihtiram, not a worshipness. But Allah just said what he accomplished and he brought the pure and purified Muhammadan light onto this earth. Because this Muhammadan light so pure it sacrifices itself, at the whisper of Allah it will sacrifice itself. No hesitation, no shaking, it's so pure in its taslim. It represents the reality that's within the Kaaba. He's just the drop of the soul that's really inside the Kaaba that is so pure and purified that Allah wants all of creation make tawaf around that light and that one makes tawaf around me because that's Allah. Then the, the tawaf is Atiya Rasul so then Prophet is making tawaf around Allah You're not making tawaf around Allah Prophet is making tawaf around Allah then Allah follow the umr ulul amr, your tawaf is on the outside. So their tawaf is, is moving, Prophet Allah put the soul of Prophet in the center. Why? To show that you are on that side. All of creation is, is making tawaf around Prophet's light. And Nur Muhammad is in the center with making tawaf around Allah and that's why the hadith Allah describing, Qalb al-Mu'min baytullah because his mu'min soul is right there and Allah is upon that reality and make everybody to make tawaf around that reality. Means this reality of this reflection is immense, is immense. That when we even say that, what were we saying? That 
to even look at me. Wa fawzu amri inna Allah inna Allahu basirun bil ibad. If we understood this point from obedience to Allah is obedience to Prophet means you're obeying Allah Obedience to the ulul am means you obeyed Prophet means you obeyed Allah Wa fawzu amri inna Allah inna Allahu basirun bil ibad. Means that when they look at you, Allah's saying, I have seen you, I see you through their eyes. When these ulul am look at you, Allah's telling you in your heart, I have seen you through their eyes, I see you through their eyes, I hear you through their ears. If I won't, I'll speak through his tongue to speak to you. If I won't, I can embrace you through his hands. Allah every faculty coming through and this reflective reality if it's not understood they're not understanding the nearness in which Allah comes to His beloved creation. And they hold Allah as something very far away and almost imaginary for themselves. Only Allah, well, then how are you communicating with Allah how are you perfecting yourself with Allah How are you learning anything from Allah So Allah brings this reality to be close to us. So that when you followed Sayyidina Muhammad and when he looked at you, فَأُوذْ عَمْرِينَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهُ بَصِيرٌ بِالْبَادِ His Sahabi knew that when Prophet looks at us, Allah is looking at us. Allah has overtaken all his faculties. And he looks through his servant, he hears through his servant, he interacts with his servant through that servant. All of that reality to reach to Sayyidina Ismail means that he is Maqam al Ihsan. What is then the Qurban? If we understood that Sayyidina Ismail is Maqam al Ihsan on your life's journey, is to reach to, to bring this child in your life out. I have to submit my body and all my practices. I don't know this hajj, next hajj, which hajj Allah is going to open that this year am I coming with my body submitting through extreme tests, you know, screaming, yelling, kicking the whole way, and as a, as a result, of these extreme tests did my soul have more confidence in what I was doing? I don't find too much inner conflict. All night long I'm not sort of like whispering to myself where both of us are talking. One saying, you're crazy and another one saying, no you're crazy. What they call it schizophrenia, why? Because you have so many voices inside you because none of them trust each other. Right? Have you seen three people argue that don't trust each other? They say, what are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? What are you but when you elect an Amir, you have to have a trust in the Amir. So Prophet said, the three of you elect one. Same for my inner being. When they trust in me, my soul is accepting. Accepting the submission of my body, two of them are working for Maqam al-Ihsan. Now this Maqam al-Ihsan, Allah says, I'm going to give you the best gift that you can imagine which is a qurban. That qurban represents what and all the imperfections in your year of what you didn't achieve to bring the reality of Sayyidina Ismail out in you, Allah will take it with the qurban. And that's why Allah describes the qurban as a tremendous ransom. So you don't know what this reality is. If you understood the reality of Sayyidina Ismail salam and how you're about to achieve it, close to achieve it or not anywhere near achieving it by your qurban, I will bring you closer to that reality. Instead of sacrificing you and saying, no you're not capable of it, Allah will dress you from the barakah of that qurban, will take every sayyata amalina. We said that all the sayyat and all the bad actions, all the bad characteristics 
in this year of hijrat into Allah's presence what your body didn't achieve, what your soul didn't believe and what you did bring out of Maqam al-Ihsan, Allah brings it and purifies it with the qurban. So means that qurban when, when they make the sacrifice of the qurban and when we initiate the qurban for hajj Allah take all the bad actions and all the bad characteristic, put it upon the creature to carry that burden and you become pure and purified for that year. So that Allah has, has stacked the game in our favour. Allah because the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is the nation that has to be the shiniest. When Allah loves the nation because He loves Sayyidina Muhammad says, your nation has to be the shiniest, the most beautific. When they sin I count as one, when they do good I count as ten, the game is stacked in your favour. Go wait all the way to the end of the year and anything you did wrong I'll cleanse it with the qurban. That's why Allah is saying it's a tremendous ransom. So as soon as they go for Arafah then they come down for Kuhamina to go down to give their qurban. They used to come down from Arafat right there do the qurban and then put the, the marking that they had completed their qurban. And Allah took all their sins and difficulty, that creature reached its maqam for what? Bi khidmat of Bani Adam salam. It on the day of promises accepted, Ya Rabbi for the sake of your love for this creation of Bani Adam I will give my life for them to achieve what they have to achieve. So it means Allah has given so much ni'mat, so much bounty to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad But people in their minds begin to think, this is not important, this not important, that not important. And before you know shaitan has fooled them to leave all of these immense blessings and gifts. We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and to keep the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.